hard, nerds, okay? Take grandma's irresistible furniture. That's right, TGIF can be whatever you want it to be. And welcome to HQ Words, my friends. I am your host, Word Queen in Pink, Anna Royceman. Ooh, you can find me here all over social media. I'm just so glad you decided to spend your Friday night with me. Okay, consider this a date. We had a long week, and now it's time to put a little extra something in our pockets before the weekend. Okay, tonight's prize is $2,500. That's a nice amount of money, okay? We should order dessert. But let's take care of the biz first. Spin the wheel around my face for your letter. Okay, this is the wheel of trust. Right now, we're both gonna say a secret about ourselves that we've never said out loud before. Ready? I haven't seen The Godfather. Uh, hello, I didn't hear yours. You didn't say a secret. That's how this works. Well, whatever letter the wheel landed on is yours for the game. It's time for the first puzzle. The faster you solve, the more money you can win. So let the game begin. Not games, game. Your first hint is cute animals. Here's some letters. Type in S, T, and K. And if you're having a bad day or a bad week, go on the internet and look at these. You literally can't resist how cute they are. You can't. Especially because they're babies. And the cute animal of the day is kittens. Kittens, 153,459. You love kittens too. 8,322 are eliminated. I hope you're, if you're eliminated, at least you're looking at pictures of kittens, right? Because that'll brighten your day. Sometimes when you wake up, you look so put together, it's worth posting on Instagram, right? That's a joke. But this hairstyle isn't, it's a great hairstyle. If you have long hair, it's great. And it looks good no matter what. If your hair is clean or not so clean, Some people like to have multiple ones of these. They wear multiple ones. But for me, it's kind of hard for me to do for myself. Do you have that problem? I'm talking about a braid. Of course. You know who has a good braid? Elsa in in the Disney movie Frozen. 144,814 solved the puzzle. 9,062 eliminated on braid. So you may want to braid your hair tomorrow morning because we got an all new Saturday morning cartoons game. It's gonna happen. So sleep in, stay in your PJs. Join me here at 12 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Okay, you have two opportunities to win HQ Words tomorrow. That is lit, as in literature. This next puzzle is more of a physical experience. Your hint is it gets spiked. This is part of a sport that I never played, but like a lot of sports, it takes place on a court. And unlike a lot of sports, it can take place in the sand too, on a sand court. It gets spiked. Just like all the people solving right now. The answer is volleyball. Here's how you, I'm spiking a volleyball right now. How was that, was that good? Volleyball, 137,483 solved the puzzle. 7,200 eliminated on volleyball. Maybe they're basketball fans, but this was a volleyball puzzle. We're moving on. Did any of you play volleyball in middle school? I played basketball. Point guard, babe, right on. But while we're in middle school, tell me this preteen event. This is a fun thing to do on weekends, like a Friday with your friends when you're able to, you know, sleep in the next day. But who am I kidding? It's not really about the sleeping. It's so much more. Preteen event. I'm a preteen. I'm gonna invite you all to my slumber party. Yes, I will. We'll play truth or dare. We'll play all these games. I'm having a slumber party tonight with 101,000 of you and 36,000 are eliminated on slumber party. Didn't you hear? We got another game tomorrow morning. We're having a slumber party. My favorite one of all is the one in Greece. Do you remember the slumber party in Greece when Sandy and Rizzo and Marty, they're all there. It's pretty emotional, actually. It's hard to describe, but I think scary fun or both. 
really solves, you know, really sells it. It perfectly describes this answer too, okay? These are wild and sometimes fun. And whether you like them or not, I'll tell you, they are guaranteed to get your heart racing. And you have to tell me in the chat after. Is it scary, fun, or both for you? Scary, fun, or both? I'm talking about a roller coaster. Want to see a roller coaster? Here you go. <laughs> that was DMX, the famous DMX on a roller coaster, screaming like not what you would think DMX screams like, right? 85,824 solved the puzzle. 17,000. 700 eliminated on roller coaster. Do you love roller coasters? Cause we just rode a roller coaster together, didn't we? Hey wordies, you made it halfway through the game. Okay, you came out to play and you are succeeding. Only five more to go until that sweet, sweet money. Oh, thank you so much for joining me at parent teacher conferences. Have you had our in school refreshment yet? This is in every school. Okay, don't get schooled on the in-school refreshment. But I'm pretty sure this is always available. Not even conference night. <laughs> Anytime. In-school refreshment. Are you feeling thirsty for a win? Better check out that water fountain. Of course, it's water fountain. 79,840 are taking sweet, sweet sips of that water right now. You're hydrating. You're ready for the rest of the game. And 7,020 are parched, are leaving us parched tonight. They still have, they have water fountains in schools, right? Or is it all like Brita filters and very, you know, posh now? They do have uh, water fountains in parks. I know that. Parks are a pretty romantic date spot, right? If you're dating, type in this lover's gift. We're on a date right now. Let's test how nice of a partner you are, okay? Everyone deserves this gift. Doesn't even have to be a special occasion. It could be any day of the week. But it means so much coming from a lover. And the answer is not one, but two dozen roses. Oh, thank you so much. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> wow, that's like two dozen roses times a thousand. That was what Kanye gave to Kim Kardashian on Valentine's Day with Kenny G and a bunch of roses. Oh, I loved it. 66,400 solved the puzzle. 14,021 eliminated on two dozen roses. Kenny G, who you just saw, he plays jazz, but he's not considered a hip hop artist. This next puzzle is cool and it's a fun place to be. I want to know this hip hop event. Okay, there's probably a DJ. And I'm gonna say that this is a place for people who really enjoy the music in the room. It's an event all about hip hop. So no, you won't find Kenny G here. But it could get competitive. I'm talking about a break dancing challenge. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, 37,000 solved the puzzle. 30,987. You just got schooled out of the puzzle. Ooh, look at that bus go by. Here's my break dancing move, right? I'm giving you, oh yeah, okay. I'm not, how, how was it though? Was I good? Did I nail it in this vertical screen? I can't hear you. Did I nail it? Hey, speak up. I want to hear what you have to say and not just what you're typing in the chat. Speak up. The silence is really creeping me out right now. Okay, hopefully this won't ever happen in real life. But I would love if you would speak up. Can you? Or has the cat got your tongue? Cat got your tongue, you can't speak up. 22,000 are still in it to win it. 19,000 eliminated on cat got your tongue. I'm sorry if the cat got your tongue. It's probably that kitten from puzzle one, right? He grew up and he came and got your tongue. All right, but the cat, it may have gotten your tongue, but it sure didn't take away those fingers. Cause honey, you just tapped your way to the final puzzle. 
You rock. We started tonight with about 180,000 players, and here we are at the final moment. Okay, word speed. Your final hint is what's grandpa handing out? These are so good. I want one now, grandpa, but I just went to the dentist. It's probably not a good idea. Are you solving? Are you getting it? Are you getting what grandpa's handing out? I hope you're getting it. And the final answer is butterscotch candies. Ooh, he's handing out butterscotch candies, but guess what I'm handing out? I'm handing out money to 24,397 winners in tonight's HQ Words. Ooh, you did it. Congratulations. Woo, let's take a look at those fast, fast players who are the top word nerds of the day. In first place, winning $100, the starring role. Yeah, you're a star tonight. And in second place for $75, Chad 1M. What up, Chad? Are you sunbathing today? And in third place, Cardiac Cat 20. You're going home with $50. That's pretty great. All right, my kidder. That is the game for tonight. I want to congratulate all of the winners. Okay, we had a lot of winners. Our latest word nerds. Ooh, I would love to have a slumber party so we can braid each other's hair and hang out, right? Maybe watch a scary movie. I can't hear you. You want to watch a scary movie? What, does the cat got your tongue again? I'm Anna Roisman. You can follow me here on social media. You can also send me two dozen roses, babe. Oh, that would be nice. I will see you back here tomorrow morning at 12 p.m. Eastern for a brand new game of HQ Words cartoon style. So go have a wild Friday night. I'll see you in like, I don't know, 15 hours, 12 hours. That's all, folks. Oh, she's getting ready for cartoons.